Okay, so we're back with another PlayStation 2 RGB video. Like I said before, I've got a hold of these, which is known as a SCART cable. This is a third-party SCART cable. SCART cables weren't really available in the US or North America. And in Europe, they were really common. They're pretty much an RGB cable for Europe. I believe they had ones that only did composite and stuff, depending on your TV set. Pretty much all the pins you need for anything are there. I'm not going to go into much detail about the technicalities of the cable. Just know that this can output RGB from your PlayStation, any PlayStation with the AV out port. Sony PlayStation 1, 2, or 3 model, including the PSX, I think. I actually haven't used the PSX, so I'm not sure. To a device that can accept RGB. So we have my PVM, and like I tried before, I was having issues with my old breakout adapter. So for this PVM, we will need this adapter. What it does is it converts the SCART connection into a BNC breakout, and then two audio cables. Don't worry about those. So it reruns the lines for the red, the green, the blue, and then a sync line for the RGB signal. So what I'm going to do is plug this into the PVM and show it off. First we'll just attach the SCART cable. Then we attach the SCART cable to the BNC breakout adapter. Note, you got to make sure you get the exact kind of adapter, and for certain PVMs and other devices, you'll need a specific BNC cable that strips the one sync signal. I'm not going to go into details on that, just know that you might need a different kind of BNC breakout with a different wiring, depending on what units you hook up to this. And as before, we hook up to the BNC ports on the back. Red. Green, blue, and then the video sync. And I'm going to plug in an audio line. It's mono, I don't have a combiner. I'll probably show this in the other videos. So I already hooked up the PVM before and I set it for the right signal, depending on what display you plug this into and what adapters you use, you have to make sure you're set on RGB. And I still have the PlayStation 2 set on RGB from last video that I did. So all we should have to do is turn it on, and it should display properly this time. And there you go! There's a basic overview of another output cable. Eventually, I will go and make a more depth video on RGB output on the PlayStation 2. I am a little busy right now, so these RGB videos are kind of more of a quick thing. Plus, your average person in North America wouldn't even have used them. Okay, until next time, everybody out there, stay safe, and we will see you again soon. Take care.